opens the court of Ivan and Catalina, Saw and Sarix of the Middle Kingdom. Held this 26th day of May, Panel Societatis 59, occasion of their crown tournament in the canton of the March of the Marches. Paul Ford, the victor of today's problem. Sir Killian Fendrick, present yourselves before their majesties. Killian, by your victory to today's crown list, you have shown yourself to be of high metal and worthy the title of Tannin, which is borne by the heir of the kingdom. It is, your, is it your desire to assume the title and responsibilities of Tannis, and when the right proper time should come, you will rightful, su rightfully succeed us upon the dragon throne? Aye! <laughs> Whereupon the sovereign shall quit. Sorry, that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Rise, Tannis. All hail the Tannis of the Middle Kingdom! Tannis, Killian! Jalida al Hassan, my wife, my inspiration, please present yourself to the crown. invite into their court any royal peers who wish to swear fealty at this time. Just, just so you all know what is going on up there. Her Grace, her Grace Dickinson has been digging up dinosaur bones so her hand is all dirty. Only because her Grace gave her a kid's dinosaur bone set. This is my so you all know. I was just confused and sorry. I appear to swear fealty and service. The crown of the middle kingdom. 
of state swear fealty at this time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Their Majesties invite forward all members of the Order of the Pelicans who wish to swear fealty at this time. <laughs> There's 240 pennies to a pound. So the royal pound is 240 coins. Uh, usually we strike silver coins for reasons. I made, uh, made the um, actual pound in brass or gold coins. Uh, they're modeled after a little earlier than your period for some reason. They stopped using coins by their period in, in Bruce. So, uh, and the coins read in Old Church Slavonic, which is former Russian, Ivan on his throne, on the one side with the uh, single figure, and on the other side has the rolling tiger head that comes from your arms, and reads, Fenelina is his goal. <laughs> Coins were actually something. <laughs> I personally do. Seven Grivna Silver. <laughs> <laughs> 
Masters and mistresses of the Pelican, is it your judgment that Dickon is worthy to the elevation of the Order of Pelican? Aye! Dickon, it is the opinion of these, your peers, that you have shown the greater qualities and courtesies, noblesse and service, that is to this our kingdom that betoken a member of our most noble Order of the Pelican. Therefore, we here charge you to stand your vigil, think well upon your deeds and heart and present, present yourself before our court, to be determined, <laughs> where you will be offered elevation into the order of the pelican. We have our leave to go. Masters and mistresses of the pelican, please take your newest vigil. Their Majesties call for someone to accept an award for Ladara Corsi. One and all shall know that we, Ivan and Catalina, King and Queen of the Middle Kingdom, having heard much good of Leandra Corsi, especially for her many years of 
service to the kingdom, holding many offices in her verity, and serving at numerous events, always with a smile. Our mindage make a her an award of arms. Calligraphy and illumination by Tally Essen. we had after tournament, we're unable to sign scrolls and let them dry without making everybody wait until roughly 8 o'clock tonight. <laughs> we'll make sure we sign these either this evening or at a later date. If you get a scroll today, don't think we missed it. <coughs> know that we were unable to do so and still be punctual. Make sure everybody got to leave at the proper hour tonight. My apologies, this is my fault for not playing proper. For Noble Paxino Huzzah! I I Excellent. Top notch. 
And I, I thought, in fact, that uh, you could help me out with something. Because we had a meeting today that I think I really would have liked to know what he had to say about it. So, I will take a move. If it be a right and proper thing, ask it, and it shall be yours. I would ask that you make my friend Thomas my brother and invite him to your order of <laughs> charge you to stand your vigil, think well on deeds of heart, listen to the words of your peers, then present yourself in our court and it may be the church. Where you will be offered the accolade of knighthood or the baldric of the master of arms. You have <laughs> you have our leave to go. My brothers of the order, sister, we <laughs> escort Taunus. For the staff. For the 
staff, it is probably a very good thing that these two individuals have known me for a great many years. So much so, I talk to that man probably three to four times a week, and I send her a text to give him a hug and a kiss, and I have upset him. <laughs> Which is every day. <laughs> every day. So for that, Because we would do this. Proclaim to all throughout the land that we, Ivan and Catalina, sovereigns of the Middle Kingdom, have witnessed the service, service with which <laughs> Raphael and Marguerite have exemplified the ideals which we strive to uphold and do therefore wish to acknowledge them in a fitting and seemly manner with some visible token of our esteem. We are minded to give unto them each a royal augmentation of arms of a gout sanguine in recognition of their deeds. I am an order of the pelican. Our symbol is a pelican that will pierce her own breast and feed the blood to her children orange make them thrive. They received my blood drop because they do the service that this kingdom needs to feed its populace. And for that, for Raphael and Margarita, huzzah! <laughs> of our realm. He was a combatant in today's crown tourney. What many do not know is the level of service that he does for this kingdom. There are so many things. However, one you may not know. So one is he is our Lieutenant General of the Armored Command this year president. I apologize. He is the Ar general of the armored command under the Uber guy over there. <laughs> he is efficient. He makes things work. He also holds together the royal encampment at Pensac. And for those of you who do not understand what that means, <laughs> I do. Because <laughs> I was Chamberlain, and I was Exchequer, and I know what he has now taken on, as well as all of the other things that he does. He is an event steward. He shepherds people through other things. He schedules. He does. He does. He was the Baron of. I know where. <laughs> <laughs> Directly to the east. 
most of us, and I was trying to think of a good way to say it, of a very interesting and complicated barony. <laughs> he has done and he has served, and for those reasons, see, read, hear, and know by our presence that we, Ivan, Tsar of the Little Kingdom, and Catalina, Tsarista, are mindful of the time, labor, and love that Crispin hath most freely given unto the Middle Kingdom. He has continued to be the heart and guide of his barony long after stepping down. He secures events and practice spaces and works to maintain the relationships. He is also part of the Mid-Realm Royal Encampment Staff at Hedzik in general for armored combat at Hedzik 51. He supports and helps drive the paths of those who ask his advice. For his long and selfless service, we are thus minded to make him a companion of the Order of the Dragon's Heart. memories of him is in a woods battle years ago we were running together on one of his grace's crazy teams and I turned and looked at him because I could not reach the man that was trying to kill me and I asked Angus can I borrow your pole arm it's longer than mine <laughs> and he handed it to me with this rough funny look on his face of why don't I just kill him <laughs> but he handed it to me. Now that is a funny story and a wonderful story. But that's not what he's up here for. That's just what I remember him <laughs> He is up here for his endless service to this kingdom. As champion, as trainer of fighters, his love of this kingdom knows no bounds at any time I have ever needed him, or anybody has ever needed him. He is there. He is a wonderful wealth of knowledge, whether he likes to admit it or not. And he serves for the love that he holds for this kingdom and the people around him. In addition for Sir Angus's marshal, I think, he has taken over ANS spared staff, something outside of what you would normally think a knight could do. What he says to me on a regular basis is, I live to serve. And for that, we recognize him with this. See, hear, and know that we, Catalina and Ivan, rulers of the Midrealm, are mindful of the time, labor, and love freely given by Sir Angus Gordon. With the heart of a dragon, he has served in Mid-Realm unfailingly and faithfully from field to the hall. We must especially acknowledge his time as Minister of Arts and Sciences for the Barony of Shadowed Stars and his unflagging help at the King of A&S. We are pleased to bestow upon him 
the Order of the Dragon's Heart. Scribes contributed scrolls to this court. Katerina Peregrine, Asa Sorenstotter, Tali Essen, and Mae Ramsey. For the scribes, huzzah! His Excellency spoke yesterday, so it's my turn. Um, I'm going to do my best to be loud. Everyone has done such a good job. Um, we would like to thank their majesties for letting us host. Again, we said it yesterday, but I appreciate it. Thank you to their highnesses for doing such a wonderful job today. All the fighting was amazing. Uh, thank you to our cousins, everyone who showed up to fill this enormous room. Um, 
you to everyone who showed up. You already took the words out of our mouths. Thank the staff. We could not do this without all of them. Thank you again. We have one shameless plug, if we may. We have a second event at the same site next weekend, Black Swamp Board Games. It'll be our second annual uh, for that event. We're looking forward to it. If you had a great time at the site this week, come join us again next week. So, I'm hoping that over the course of this next year, I get to know a whole lot, I'm sure I will, get to know a whole lot more people. Uh, and your loves, and your desires, and your wishes, and your service, and I, I can't wait to take it all in and share it with everybody else. Thank you all so much for your support. As you know, we are going to need over these next six months before we step up. We have a lot to learn. We have a very large kingdom, and we are going to strive to serve the entire kingdom to the best of our ability. And it will take all of us working together to make that happen. So I thank you in advance. Thank you. There's a group of people that I did not thank today, and that is the marshalling that worked all day. Somebody I thanked personally, but not in front of everybody, was the list table members. They work hard to make sure everything stays straight. I don't have anything to do with it other than they come and ask me questions. Do you still want to do this now, or do you want to do this later, or do you want to take a break? But they work all day. This is part of what we do in the society. We serve so others can play. I am very proud and very happy for all the combatants today that comported themselves beautifully in my crown. Our crown. My <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> Very happy that a lot of my friends I got to watch fight today. I'm very happy that one of my friends won. Also, a little scared because I know him as one of my friends. <laughs> Please remember that it's the service and the hearts of the kingdom that drive us forward. And on a much lighter note, Yesterday, the King of Eldermere pledged for us for Penza. Since I actually keep the records, <laughs> I'm the one who actually plays with the computer. So first, be scared. His Highness and I are both from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuck. Sorry. The hands are in for it. Did you kick? Wait. Yep. <laughs> Penzik Moore, we know this rain. Summer rain. Penzik rain, right? That's what they call it. We have names for it. We don't just say winter and, right? It's the Penzik rain. And all of our preparation is in looking forward to that two weeks in July and August. We are lucky enough and have been privileged enough 
to be able to travel where I'm at. It's not his fault. He's on call. He can't go. I have been privileged enough to travel and meet people that I never would have met in this position. And so we have been privileged enough to have confirmations privately. I don't know if they have announced them publicly to the other members of their populace. But we have commitments from the Kingdom of Meridies, the Kingdom of Trimeris, the Kingdom of Norshia, the Kingdom of Avkal, and now the Kingdom of Eldmir, as allies for Pensac. Black Talon will also be fighting with us. Just because we have an agreement with them does not make them any less of an ally. Their eastern commander lives in our shire. <laughs> they should not be treated any less as an ally just because they happen to be mercenaries. They are our friends and should be treated as such. We also have an outside. Okay, more than an outside chance because we're playing on family connections for the Outlands and Calentier. <laughs> Outlands is going to fight with Calentier. Oh, we also have Artemisia. A firm confirmation for Artemisia. The Prince of Calentier is the father to the King of Artemisia. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to be going out to Montana in June to see the King of Artemisia. And I'm assuming his dad's going to be there. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so Pensick is going to be a treat. We hope you will be there to join us. Some things will be the same. Some things will be different. Court's going to be earlier. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Court's at six. Port is also not in the big barn on concrete. Yes. Woo. Port will be under the 45 100 tent that is next to the field. Okay. That way everybody will be on the grass. Nobody has to worry about kneeling or whatever on concrete. However, if it rains, we will also have cover. Your concerns were heard. We addressed them and split the middle. Thank you for you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your art. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for fighting. Thank you for marshalling. Thank you for being the table in the back that takes care of all things. Woo! Thank you for being our heralds. Thank you for just being you. I got choked up today, not at coronation. At coronation, I was overloaded. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen my missives, there is lots about my brain that is not what you would call typical. <laughs> okay? That means that sometimes I'm completely overwhelmed, and in that moment, I don't feel what's going on. Coronation was one of those days. There was so much happening, I was just straight across. Today is the day that it all hit me when you all came up to swear fealty. I appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you showing up and just doing the thing. Thank you. There being no further business, here closes the court of Tsar Ivan and Tsaritsa Catalina. All rise if you are able and make way for their royal majesties of the Midrow and their royal highnesses and the assembled baronages of the kingdom. Draco! Bow to the throne and bow to the ones who 
whose favor you hold. Remember their eyes are watching the fray, so bow to each other and fight and pray.